invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as the Swally. left Italy to start his new life in America, he promised his mother that he would write and tell her about his adventure. So now, let's read Luigi's letter as he writes to Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, today is one of the biggest days of my life. This morning, I'm receive a letter from Immigration Department, which says that Thursday, September the 8th, I must go there and apply for my first citizen of papers. Mamma mia, I remember when your son, Luigi, is the first to come to America. How stupid he was. <laughs> I'm a past the stories, and I'm a see signs that say fire sale. And I'm a think it's a strange country where they got a sale on a fire. <laughs> And they have a see advertisement in a newspaper that says, Big sale, bargain at the basement. Ha, I go right down to the store to buy a basement. <laughs> I guess I was pretty stupid, huh, Mama? But now I'm here over one year, and I'm a much smarter fella. Last week, a fella's a walk up to me in the street, and he's a say, Hey, bub, I'm a got a good deal for you. <laughs> How you like to buy Macy's in a New York for $25? But even though it sounds like a good deal, I'm a no buy Macy's. Mamma mia, if I'm in a Chicago, who's going to watch the business? <laughs> Is it better for me? I'm going to take care of my own antique business and I keep going to night school. Oh, my teacher, Miss Spalding, she's going to be so happy when I tell her the good news about my first papers. America, I love you. You like a papa to me. From ocean to ocean. Ah, you big buildings, you wide streets, you lovely parks. Soon you're going to be mine. Even this wind that's blowing all this free, fresh air into my nose. Hmm. Must be the stockyards. <laughs> Even that's gonna be mine. Blow, wind, blow. I'm like to see those fresh leaves flying down the street. That the man chasing his hat. That the nice young girl's skirt the... Blow, wind, a blow. <laughs> and uh, now I'm across the street to my school. Mamma mia, look at that car speed. He's almost hit me. I think he's going to hit that car. He's a hit. <laughs> oh, look, he's a pass the red light and he's right away. There's his license. I'm a got to report him. All right, everybody, don't crowd around. Right, officer, officer, Mr. Yes. Policeman, I'm going to see the whole thing. Well, who are you, Mac? Name is not the Mac, it's a Luigi. <laughs> it's the other fellow's fault, but I'm going to remember his license number. It's the K8-24-4687. Good work, buddy. The name is a Luigi. <laughs> that's, all, that's all right, Tom. Are you hurt, mister? Well, I think I'm okay, but my car's all smashed up. Well, don't worry. We got a good witness. A witness? What's that? Somebody who saw the accident. Now, give us your name, address, telephone number, where we can get a hold of you and tell us how it all happened. Huh? Huh? All right, class, class, attention. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Mr. Basco. Well, oh, this is the first time he's been absent. Mr. Harwood. I'm here. Mr. Olson. I am here. Mr. Schultz. If I ain't here, there's a very good-looking fella wearing my suit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, fellow troopers. Oh, what a combination. Besides being witty, I'm pretty. Please, Mr. Schultz. 
Let's get on with our lesson. Miss Pollinger, please, I'm here. Don't mark me absent. I'm a present. <laughs> well, Luigi, you should have been here a minute ago. I just made a lollapalooza. <laughs> <laughs> please, Mr. Schultz. Mr. Basco, why are you late? His all explained over here. I'm a bring a note. A note? Who from? From a cop. Here. Mr. Luigi Basco was detained from school because he volunteered as a witness to a traffic accident. Oh, Luigi, a witness? Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> That's a terrible of what to shoot. Yeah, my cousin Wolfgang, you know, was a witness. His wife was bitten by a dog. And did he get into trouble? What the trouble? His wife beat him up. He was a witness for the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Basco, don't let Mr. Schultz worry you. It's often difficult to get witnesses to an accident, and I think you performed your duty like a good citizen. Well, thank you. Oh, Miss Pulling, I, I almost forgot to tell you. I got an order to go down for my first citizen of Peppers, September the 8th. Why, Mr. Basco, that's wonderful. Congratulations, Luigi. Thank you. Oh, Luigi, that's wonderful. You get your first papers on election day. You can vote. Yeah, and when you get your second papers, you can vote twice. <laughs> Correction, Mr. Schultz, you can only vote once. That's civics. Correction, Miss Spalding, you can vote twice. That's politics. <laughs> Oh, Luigi, I know just how you feel. The day I got my first papers, I was so happy. Everybody who came into my delegation got a free salami. <laughs> oh, that's real nice, Schultz. Oh, you should have seen, Luigi. The neighborhood was so full of heartburn, you could have started a forest fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks. Thanks, everybody, for your nice words. And Miss Paulding, Horowitz, Olsen, and the usuals. But, uh, Miss Paulding, I'm a little worried. You think because I'm a witness for accident, maybe I'm going to have a trouble with my citizen papers? Not at all. You spoke up for what you thought is right. Oh, thank you, Miss Spaulding. That's right, Luigi. I always remember my Uncle Hugo's words. He always said, you've got to have the courage of your convictions. And he ought to know. Why? He's been convicted six times. <laughs> So early in the morning is the phone ring. Huh? Uh, hello? What? What? Auto insurance company? Yeah, this is Luigi Basco. Yeah, I'm a witness. Sure, I'm a city accident. I was a close by. What? If I'm a liar, I got a 20 years of a perjury? <laughs> Mamma mia, you can't say this. You go by. <laughs> what am I going to do? I'm going to run next door and tell Pasquale. Luigi, my friend. <laughs> hello, Luigi. Hello. Hey, what are you doing in your nightgown in my spaghetti palace so early? Pasquale. <laughs> Pasquale, I'm going to a lot of trouble. You think you got a trouble? Look, tuna fish is a cost of so much, I got to raise the price of my chicken salad. <laughs> What's the matter? Something is going wrong with your citizen of papers? No. And insurance companies are just a call and telling me I'm going to get a 20 years of perjury. Luigi, how many times I'm going to tell you best the policy is a 20 years endowment? <laughs> no, Pasquale, you don't understand. Last night when I'm going to school, I'm going to see auto accident. And I'm going to give her my name. Schultz is a warning me I'm going to have a trouble. And this morning it's a starting in. Oh, you've got nothing to do but run around on a watch accident. Why are you running around like a crazy little mouse when you should just sit home in your own trap? <laughs> trouble with you is you got no responsibility. Are you right, the Pasquale? Luigi, you know what's to happen to a fella like you who stay single for 50 or 60 years? What? You become a bachelor. <laughs> You should have settled it down. Marry a nice girl. <laughs> Maybe a girl like my Rosa. Raise a little family. Maybe 15 of bambini. <laughs> no, Pasquale, I'm not going to marry a Rosa. Luigi, you want those little bambinos? Should it be orphans? <laughs> Pasquale, please, I'm going to enough for trouble now. Besides, the roast is too fat for me. Too fat, too fat. What if she's away 250 pounds? You're lucky to get a girl like that. She's always a happy. Is it too much a happy? <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, first of all, please do not talk about imagine until I'm going to get to my first purpose. Only thing that's to worry me is that the witness is busy. Well, uh, pardon me. I'm looking for Mr. Basco. He's not in the store. And, uh, I'm uh, Luigi Basco. What can I do for you? You're going to accept a subpoena. What's that? A court order. But I'm going to never order a court. <laughs> oh, wait, wait a minute. Luigi? Looks like you're going to take a slow boat to Italy. Pasquale, <laughs> what's this a subpoena? What am I going to do? Hey, get me. I'll read it for you. Uh-huh. On the top is, say, uh, Super Area Court of the State of Illinois. What's this uh, super area? That's uh, like a supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> Only instead of selling the things like a soap and a tuna fish, they sell the summonses and the traffic tickets. <laughs> Mamma mia. Quiet, please. I'm reading that. Supine, affidavit, and... Hey, Luigi, how come they find out you're not a citizen? Pasquale, are you sure they know that? Thing? I'm a positive. It's a say here, uh, affidavit. If you was a citizen, you'd get a hold of David. You're not a citizen. Get out of oh, please, please, Pasquale, save me, save me. Save me, save me, save me, save me. That's all you can say, save me. What do you think I am, a Salvation Army? <laughs> now, let me read it some more. You were ordered to appear in a court on a Thursday, the 8th today of September, 10 a.m., Thursday, September 8th. Pasquale, that's the day I'm supposed to get my first citizen of papers. Oh, Luigi, that's bad. You're not going to get your papers. You're going to super area court. The whole estate is against you, and all you got is a half a David in your defense. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Pasquale, why, why are you reading so fast? Who's the reading? I'm a praying for your life. <laughs> Life with Luigi continues in just a moment, but first, it's fun for all and the big break for lucky youngsters. Tonight, Horace Heights' original youth opportunity program unveils another chance at fame and fortune. Music, comedy, thrills, and glamour, they're yours now every Sunday evening when you tune in Horace Heights, another great CBS show heard over most of these same stations. For the second act of Luigi Basco's Adventures in Chicago, we turn to page two of his letter to his mother in Italy. And so, Mamma Mia, what was going to be best the week of my life is going to turn out to be the worst. I was crossing the street in a safety zone, minding my own business. I see accident, and I like a good American, I give a name as a witness. Now, so many bad things are happening to me. Looks like the story of my life is going to be from a safety zone to Sing Sing. <laughs> <laughs> but the biggest tragedy to me is, same day I must appear in the court, I must also appear down in town for my first citizen of papers. Mamma mia, this is a wonder time. I'm a wish I was as fat as a rose so I can be in two places at the same time. <laughs> Anyway, I'm sitting in my antique store wishing I was a dead when it's in come a stranger man. Are you Luigi Basco? That's a me. Look, Mr. Basco, I happen to be concerned with a defendant in a case that's coming up tomorrow in court. Uh, I have a little present for you, say, uh, $500. What are you talking about? I'm going to understand it. Okay, I'll lay my cards on the table. But I'm going to want to play cards. <laughs> Look, I'll give it to you straight. I'm offering you a bribe. I'm going to want to get them married. <laughs> Listen, friend, my brother realizes he made a mistake hitting that car and running away. It's worth 500 bucks to him if you don't show up as a witness tomorrow. Oh, so that's what you mean. I should be a bad citizen. Look, mister, this case is to get me in a lot of trouble, but I'm a rather be no citizen than a bad citizen. Look, nobody will know what you are. I'll know what the I'm I'm. <laughs> And I'll be glad I'm never telling nobody about you. Now, please get out there before I get the mad. Goodbye. For a minute. Louis, 
Luigi, my friend. Hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Hello, Pasquale. Well, Luigi, it's 9 or 30. You're going to go to the courtroom and begin to walk the last mile. <laughs> Pasquale, I'm going to understand a minute. From a little thing like being a witness, I'm losing my citizenship. And That's I'm... how things happen, Luigi. You know what they say, from a little acorns is to grow big acorns. <laughs> but don't worry, Luigi. Your friend Pasquale and his beautiful daughter, Rosa, they're going to stand by your side all the time. Oh, thank you, Pasquale. When you walk into the court, I'm going to hold your hand. When you sit down on the bench, I'm going to hold your hand. But when the judge is to give you 50 years in a jail, I'm going to have to let go for a little while. <laughs> 50 years? Well, Luigi, if you was it to consider marrying my Rosa, maybe I'm personally going to figure out a way to get you off. How you going to do this, Pasquale? Well, I'm going to know the law, and I give you time off for, for parole or... Good behavior and uh, withholding attacks. <laughs> well, Pasquale. Luigi, I thought maybe I'd go with you to the downtown and help you get at your citizenship papers. Uh, mm. Schultz, what do you got in the bag? Oh, this is the end of a salami. Yeah. That's for you, Luigi. When the man gives you the papers, it's nice to give him a tip. Tip, the end of the salami, a tip. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Schultz, it was, thank you. But I'm not the goner for my papers. In a few minutes, I'm going to the court, and who knows what they're going to do to me. Oh, hello, Mr. Basco. My mother baked you this cake to celebrate your citizen papers. Thank you, Sandy, and a thank you, mama, for me. Hey, little boy, this cake is going to be no good for Luigi unless he's got a file inside. A file? Why? Because Luigi is going to jail. Pasquale, don't be such a pessimist. Be happy. Be an octopus. <laughs> Mr. Delicatessen, man. I'm going to know the law. Well, we're going to go to the courtroom and stop it. Zandy, you run out and tell the whole neighborhood to come. Get O'Reilly, Horowitz, Olsen. No, please, get the place is Schultz. Sit down and buy it. You go ahead, Zandy. Go on. All right, Mr. Schultz. Yeah. And don't worry, Mr. Basco. We'll all be there. Yeah. Right. Come on, Luigi. We go to the court with you. Please, Mr. Schultz, I'm going to want to make a trouble. Luigi, this case is bigger than you now. You're a martyr. Like Nathan Hale, you got it only one life to give for your country. That's the right, Luigi. And in the next few hours, we're going to know if you gave it. Oh, Luigi, is it look bad for you in this court? they breaking you in the slow. Already, they put a bars on the windows. Oh. Here comes the judge. Oh, Luigi's look very sad for you. The judge is all dressed in black. Mamma mia. Here comes the judge. Hear ye, hear ye. Superior Court of Illinois is now in session. Judge Mitchell presiding. First case, the state of Illinois versus Stanley Adams. Will the plaintiff, Albert Farnsworth, take the stand? First, you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth to help you, God. I do. Will you tell us in your own words exactly what happened? Well, I was driving along Michigan Boulevard at a normal rate of speed in my brand new car. I waited so long to get it, and suddenly this other car came tearing along. And before I knew it, he hit... <laughs> now, witness for the plaintiff, Luigi Basco. Present. <laughs> Mr. Basco, take the stand. Yes, sir. Your Honor, as attorney for the defense, I'd like to request an irregular procedure. We may save a lot of time if I can cross-examine the witness immediately. Well, it is somewhat irregular, but request granted. All right, Mr. Basco. You promise to tell truth, whole truth, nothing but truth, up, you got? Huh? Look here. <laughs> Do you swear to... Please, please, I'm never swear. Your Honor. Mr. Basco, just state your intention to tell the truth. Your Honor, judge, you please... I'm always a trick to tell the truth. Good for you, Luigi. <laughs> Quiet. Quiet, please. Mr. Basco, tell me this. On the night in question, were you crossing Michigan Boulevard? Well, it was also in a corner. Just of... answer yes or no. All right. Now, we'll try again. 
At the time of the accident, when you saw the green car, was it going faster than 35 miles an hour? Yes, sir, and no. <laughs> now, see here, Mr. Vasco. That's a very simple question. It requires a very simple answer. Yes or no. Take your pick. Or. <laughs> your Honor. Oh, judge. Judge, please. I'm not going to say yes. I'm not going to say no. What else am I going to say? Mr. Vasco, just try to answer the question to the best of your ability. Oh, has that judge got a smart head between his ears? <laughs> Mr. Vasco, at the time of the accident, just where were you standing? On my feet. <laughs> I'll have no noise in this courtroom. Your friends think you're very funny, Mr. Vasco. Now we'll dispense with the yes or no answers. Just tell the court, how do you know that you were standing on Michigan Boulevard? I'm ready to sign on a lamppost. <laughs> You were in the middle of the street at 8 o'clock at night, and you were able to read that small sign? That's right. I've got a good eyesight. If your eyes are so good. Tell the court what else you saw written on that lamppost. Curb your dog. <laughs> so, Mr. Vasco, you can see pretty well, eh? Your Honor, this witness claims he read my client's license plates with lightning-like rapidity at 8 o'clock in the evening. Now, I have an eye chart right here, and I'd like to duplicate those same conditions... To test this man's eyesight. Your Honor, may I have the light in the courtroom lowered? What do you want, Honor? Permission is granted. Clerk will lower the lights. Luigi, it's going to be too dark. <laughs> now then, Mr. Basco, I'm holding up this eye chart. Can you see me? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, I'm going to see you. All right. Try reading the top letter. E. Next line. D, X. Oh, that's very good. Now, Your Honor, in order for this witness to have been able to read my client's license plates at night, he should be able to read the bottom line of this chart. Mr. Basco, read the bottom line, please. This chart was made in a union shop. What do you object to? I object to you. <laughs> no, please, please, sure, sir, please, please sit down. Your Honor, that man's remarks are incompetent and irrelevant. You are an incompetent elephant yourself. <laughs> Your Honor, I request a five-minute recess. Recess granted. Or adjourn for five minutes. Well, uh, Luigi, my friend, I hope we didn't make trouble for you. Oh, gee, Mr. Basco, what are they going to do to you? The yump and yemine, that lawyer is such a big yerk. <laughs> Please, everybody, if you don't mind, go away for a second. I got something important to talk over with Luigi. <laughs> Come here, my little pumpkin head. <laughs> Pasquale, what's going to happen to me? Oh, your friends are really fixing you up. Luigi, you bring your razor with you? Razor? Why? I think soon you're going to have to shave your head and your leg. <laughs> but Pasquale, is it going to be chilly? Well, you're going to sit down. Is it going to be hot? <laughs> Pasquale, the chair? How do you know? Well, I'm going to say anything, but just before a man in a gray uniform is to say to me... Is it Luigi AC or DC? <laughs> oh, Mommy. Pasquale, please save me. Save me, save me. Eh? Well, I might be able to help you. Amendment 16 is to say you can keep out of jail if you marry an American citizen. Pasquale, are you going to marry me too? No! <laughs> My daughter Rosa. What do you say, little man? You give in? Pasquale, I give up. That's a fine. That's a fine. I'm going to call it a happy bride. Rosa! 
Rosa! Rosa! Say hello to Luigi. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> <love> Luigi. Hello, <laughs> Luigi. Well, my daughter, you're standing so close to the Luigi, your face is almost touch your heads. What are you going to do? Luigi. The court is back in session again. His Honor, Judge Mitchell. During the recess, the defendant has decided to throw himself upon the mercy of the court. It has entered a plea of guilty. Hey, Judge, you please it don't give me the chair. Mr. Basco, I noticed that you've been behaving very nervously during the trial. And really, there was no need to. You had nothing to fear because you performed your duty as an exemplary citizen. I want to thank you for appearing. And may I add, I wish we had more citizens like you. Oh, Judge, thank you, thank you. From the bottom up to my heart, thank you. <laughs> There's only one thing is the biggest sorrow for me, is I'm not the citizen. Oh, yes, about that. Your night school teacher, Miss Spaulding, called me, and I've taken care of everything. The Department of Immigration will set aside another day so you can come down for your first paper. Hooray, oh, Mr. Everybody, everybody come over to my delegatessen. The knock me off is on the house. <laughs> uh, Judge Iwana, uh, I got a little request. Uh, you can make a marriages, you know? Well, yes. Good. Then we make this a big day. You marry Luigi and my daughter Rosa. Well, well, is this so, Mr. Basco? Are you the happy bridegroom? I'm at the bridegroom. <laughs> Luigi, you promise? All right, Pasquale. Mr. Basco, do you have the ring? I'm wearing it already, Judge. Shut up! <laughs> and do you have the marriage license? I'm always got a marriage license, Judge. See, it's a say on it to Rosa and to whom it may concern. <laughs> well, we'll change it to Rosa and Luigi Basco. All right, my children, if you'll step up to the bench... I'll perform the ceremony. Mamma mia. Now I'd like some volunteers from the court. I'll need two people to witness the wedding. No, 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 no. Mr. Basco, everybody has left the court. I can't perform the ceremony. I hate to say this, but it seems as if you have no friends. Judge, you don't I'm got a plenty of friends. The kind of friends who run away when you need them. Where are you running, my son? Go by, Papa. Be sure to listen next week at the same time over most of these stations when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his mama Basco describing his adventures in America. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman and stars J. Carol Nash as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale. Be sure to tune in over most of these same CBS network stations every Friday night to hear Leave It to Joan. Yes, Joan Davis has moved her department store troubles to Friday night to join the CBS laugh lineup. Remember, Leave It to Joan every Friday on CBS. Tune in, tune in this fall For the shows that you love best of all Listen carefully, here's the address It's CBS, CBS And now stay tuned for Corliss Archer Whose adventures follow immediately over most of these stations This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System